Hey guys, Adam over here at McConnell Chevrolet in Healdsburg. Wanted to go over our first all new body style 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe. It's all new redesign for this year. And it looks great. Now there's a few things that we're going to go over that I'm going to be new to as well. So right here you have your LED lighting. I believe it's for the daytime running lamps. High intensity headlamps here. Uh, now you have the parking sensors in the front bumper. You have those little dots there. You do have a front camera here. Let's take it around. Now of course, all four wheel anti-lock braking system. Disc brakes all the way around. You do have traction control and Stabilitrax. Stabilitrax is going to help you uh, from flipping over. Uh, in case you swerve right, swerve left, it'll keep the vehicle. It'll actually break all every wheel all the way around uh, within a millisecond to keep the vehicle planted so you don't go tipping over. Uh, of course, it has the head curtain airbags, the side impact airbags to protect your ribs and your hip. Uh, front two airbags in the dash. Now, you do, they do have proximity keys. This button right here will unlock and lock uh, the vehicle. Uh, you don't have the pegs anymore, it's all digital. You have memory seats here. Uh, you have power windows, uh, power locks, um, power mirrors here. Uh, in the side mirror, like in previous years, you have the icon. See if that shows up right there. That will turn orange if there is somebody in your blind spot. Now here is a quick glimpse of the interior. We're going to go over the full thing here in just a second. What a great, I love the screen. What a great redesign for that interior. Like the, the piping around the edges here. Looks great. Well, let's start with the rear of the vehicle. Now this cover will come off so that your tow package is exposed. Uh, it's there to make it look a little bit cleaner. Uh, when you're not using your tow package. Now, another small thing, but I love it, how it says Chevrolet right there uh, in the brake light. Uh, these are LED rear lights. You do have the third tail light right there. Excuse me, right there. Uh, windshield wiper is tucked underneath, uh, so it comes down whenever you need to uh, wipe off the rear window, get a squeeze. This rear hatch will open up. It is a premier model, which means it's one of the top end levels. Uh, to close it, right in the jam there, you have the button. Now you don't have a ton of room, but you do have a little bit of cubby hole. There's your tire and everything. Now right here is gonna be your controls for the rear seat. So you hold it down, you have both sides. You can drop the one seat. I still have two people in that rear seat. I uh, have enough room for the dog to run around. Now, if you want to completely drop, drop that other side, boom. Now you can put the uh, kids in the second row, captain chairs. Uh, a lot of people like the captain chairs to keep the kids apart when they're swinging at each other, you know, siblings. Uh, second row. Now you can also fold them in from right here. Hit it again, it'll tumble up. That way it gives you room uh, to get in that third row. Now you can do both sides right here, and then this is gonna be for your third row. Now, if you hit up, you can bring the third row back. Now for the second row, once you tumble up, you have to go up there manually and slam back down. Actually, let's come around here because we're gonna check out the cameras in just a second, so I don't want to leave that up. Let's come back around here to the rear. I'm sorry if this video gets a little long, but it's going to be worth it. Bose surround sound system throughout the car. Plenty of room here to jump in that third row. Now, I like this new uh, body style 21 because from with the 20 and the years previous, that seat was almost all the way onto the ground. I like how it's lifted up a little bit more. It'll give you more uh, leg room. It felt like my knees were hitting myself in the mouth every time I sat in the rear there. Uh, now here, you do have, this will slide you forward and back. 
Uh, this one is for the tumble. Let's see if I can okay, slide just back here. Not the easiest holding a camera in one hand. Okay, so right here you have charge ports for your phone. Uh, you have the heated seats, and then you can control the temperature here in the rear. Check out that sunroof. It's huge. We're going to check that out right now. Let's hop in and fire it up. Okay, a lot of stuff to go over. Uh, electric parking brake, your lane keep. Uh, when you have your lane keep on there, it senses lines in the road. Uh, when you try to veer out of that, that lane, it will fight you a little bit, keep you in your lane. Um, it'll disengage once you put it on your turn signal because uh, it knows now you're going to be switching lanes. Trash control, parking sensors on and off, uh, downhill descent, the auto stop for when you're at stop signs, stop lights, it'll shut down the motor. This will turn on your, uh, your 110 uh, house plug there. All your four-wheel drive system right here. Auto will keep you in two-wheel drive until it senses some slipping going on. Automatically transfer you right into four high. Four high you can do on the fly as you're moving uh, on you know the freeway or whatnot. Four low. Transmission's got to be in neutral. You have to be at a dead stop to get in or out of four low. That's going to be like, you know, one to five miles an hour. Not much faster than that. Uh, automatic headlamps dimmer switches trailer brakes for when you hook up the boat and then this is for your heads-up display which we'll check out in just a moment here forward collision alert heated steering wheel and this is all your cruise control this side you have your uh, Bluetooth to answer and hang up the phone this right here will go over your information center now we're just gonna go ahead and fire this up all digital in the center there the gauges are still gauges here let's turn this down a little bit let's look up here okay so you do have your let's see if we don't zoom in all the way that button in the middle is for your rear hatch ones on the sides here are to tumble those seats and it looks like here, we can get that sunroof all the way open, or at least the, the hatch here. Put uh, some air in here. Okay, now let's check it out. Good, nice big screen there. I do like the transmission part of it. They're just going to be um, levers here, or buttons, if you will, instead of the whole shift. Now, what's cool is as, well, I almost dropped the camera there, guys. As you turn the wheel, I don't know if you can see now, but on your bird's eye view, it's showing that you're going to, as you turn the wheel, the vehicle is going to pivot. And this is where you're going to end up. The exclamation point is telling you, hey, watch out. You're getting close to that fence. You don't want to back it up. Now, I don't know if you saw there, as I'm turning the wheel right now, you can see the yellow lines on the bird's eye view, how it changes to show you if you're going to go straight on back. You're going to curve a little bit. Now, as you press the camera, now you have the front camera, uh, kind of a bird's eye view down of your hood. And there's where it's going to show you the trailer or a bird's eye view down of what you're about to back into if because <laughs> you got that um, telling you to watch out there. Uh, this is for if you have a trailer so you can kind of see around the vehicle a little bit better. And then curb so you don't mess up those nice uh, 20 inch aluminum wheels. Uh, this kind of a uh, zooms in to your hitch so that when you're going to set up the boat or trailer or what have you. Makes it a little bit easier. So, uh, oh, it turns on and off the guide. Let's go back here. There you go. So each block is a foot. 
this one sets it up for the tongue of your trailer so it's easier to, to set up. Okay, bridge that back up. All back camera. Okay, almost grabbed the shifter here. Okay, so drive. Boom. See if I can get the. It's a hologram. On the right, it's showing you uh, the street sign, it's showing you 35 miles per hour, and then above it is the digital speedometer. Let's see, I'm trying to get. So, to see where it shows the vehicle, uh, first shows the front end of our car, and then it's going to show the vehicle approaching quicker and quicker and quicker, or closer and closer and closer. Uh, that's for your uh, Ford collision alert. Now, if we want to go back to where we were, hit reverse, and then take that on back. But I wanted to show you the. Uh, heads-up display and how cool that is. Okay, I'm gonna bring it to a stop here. Throw in park. Just hit that. Let's go back to the home screen. Uh, you do have the 4G LTE Wi-Fi. Um, you do have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Climate control settings, your trailering settings. You can save several different trailers to the vehicle. Uh, so you don't have to toggle or reset up a trailer every time. You can set up the boat. So you just hit a uh, boat and they'll set up trailer brakes, uh, all the, uh, uh, the cameras you like. Um, now you can also do a checklist uh, for people that are like me that don't tow a whole lot. I'm thinking I accidentally... Sorry. Let's go back to trailer. Conventional. And then you have your checklist. I don't tow a lot. So this would come in, in handy for me so I can remember to check everything I need to check. I don't miss anything. Love it. Get out of here. So these are where your different trailers would go. Uh, you can hit, you know, guest trailer. You can just hit cargo trailer. It's the boat. Uh, it's the camping trailer. What have you. Settings right here. Down here you have volume. Station by station. Let's go here. Tune, 6.80 a.m. All Bay Area sports fans know that jingle. Anyways, just wanted to show you how the, the voice recognition works as well. Uh, you can download your My Chevy app uh, to work with the car. It'll give you your owner's manual on your phone. Uh, you can unlock, lock, start the vehicle uh, right from your phone anywhere. Um, really cool features there. Uh, you can uh, modify your uh, your Wi-Fi from the app as well. Uh, triple zone climb control, driver, passenger, you can control the rear climate. Now, heated uh, front seats, this is the full seat, this is just the back. This one here is your cooling seats. What it does is it sucks the moisture out of you rather than blow cold air on you, uh, which uh, doesn't make you all sticky and nasty. All right, um, go back home to the screen here. Oh, down here. Drop your phone down there, wireless charger. Awesome feature. This opens up. This bad boy will come out. Uh, gives you a huge opening. Can put a laptop in there. It has the um, uh, nice big depth. Put in the think of. Let me put this back in here. Bam. Uh, SD card, USBs. Right there, you also have the USBs down here. Charge plug. What am I missing here? Oh, this little guy, little cubby hole here. Sorry. Of course, your glove box here. Like I said, this is the first time I've been in the uh, 2021. So I'm sure there's a lot of things that I didn't go over with you guys.
that I could have that I'll learn later on. So when you come down here to McConnell Chevrolet, we'll be able to uh, sit in here with you, go over uh, the whole vehicle and go over some options I didn't go over in this quick video. Please give us a call. Come on by. Uh, we'd love to help you out in any way possible. McConnell Chevrolet. Again, this is Adam showing you the 2021 all-new Chevy Tahoe. See you guys soon.